Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we're slowly winding down this series, uh, but there are a couple of things we want to do. Now we've got our mechs back. Let's have a quick look in the mech bay here. There's a couple things I want to take a look at. So we've got the Marauder 2 here. Um, it's not fully laid out yet. Um, I'm not going to go in because when coming back out it causes problems. But uh, So what do we set up with this guy is a 300 engine core with extended cooling. Uh, and a double heatsink kit, so it's uh, running really cool. Enhanced imaging, imaging clan, uh, which gives 15% uh, reduced damage taken, plus 10% weapon damage dealt. Um, we've got endo steel and feral lamellar. Lamellar also reduces the damage taken by 20%. Increases the structure points, but cost of armor protection, but uh, overall that's pretty good. Um, so we've got ER large laser on the one arm, plus two double plus medium lasers. We got a TTS Ballistic plus one, plus the triple plus AC-20, which gives us 120 damage and 60 uh, stability damage. So that's a nice big fat auto cannon in there. Uh, we got three tons of AC ammo protected by Case 2. Um, and we've also got uh, two more medium la laser double plus, which are just plus one accuracy medium lasers. Then the other arm we have uh, two uh, ER medium clan lasers and another plus one. We've got a heat bank, TTS energy, uh, advanced AMS, which is going to protect the entire lance from missile attacks, heat sink cooling pods. We've got a proto double heat sink kit uh, in this guy. Um, so, yeah, and um, so it's still running really hot, but because of the. Uh, um, we've got two, I think. We've got a double plus heat bank, uh, which increases the maximum overheat plus a single, um, which gives us another 15 maximum overheat. So. Uh, our overheat's like 208 or something, so we should be able to fire a lot of stuff for a long period of time before we have to start cycling them around. We've also got a clan ECM in here as well, so that's going to help out a little bit. Uh, we're still two tons shy, but um, I'm still working on the mech, so uh, that's one of the things we have to deal with. Uh, the Mjolnir, we're still missing talons, so we've got to try and find some talons in the next few missions that we take. Um, I'm just leaving this in here to remind me that we got to replace it. Um, but everything else is still the same in the Mjolnir. The Orion, I had a question about the Orion. People were wondering why I was hitting for 93 damage with PPCs. Let's have a quick look at this and I'll show you why. So, first of all, we have four PPCs. Each of them do plus 10 damage and minus 10 heat. I absolutely love these PPCs. Um, they're minus one accuracy, but when you have a skilled pilot, it doesn't matter, right? Mount them in the arms, put weapon mounts in here, right? So you still get bonuses to hit. Um, and reduces the recoil, so these things are basically negligible. It's got a recoil of two, but doesn't matter at this point. Like these things are just with a skill pilot, you're going to hit all the time anyway. Um, PPC capacitor is giving us plus 15% damage, so that cranks this up to from 65 damage up to 74, I believe. Uh, and then from there, we have the NSI cockpit, which is very rare, but once you find one of these things, um, this thing is like super cool. Um, so plus five initiative, minus 20% uh, damage taken, plus 25% weapon damage dealt. So there's where you get to the 93. Uh, it is four and a half tons and takes up the entire head. Definitely worth it though, plus one defensive against being hit, plus two accuracy with ranged weapons on top of the weapon mounts, on top of pilot skill, uh, and any TTSs you have in here. And I've got, I think I've got all three, uh, one, two, no, just two TTSs. But we have extended range on this one here, uh, plus one accuracy, increased range with weapons, and then this one has got increased range as well. Oh no it doesn't, sorry, just increased uh, critical chance. Um, tons of exchanges and heat sinks in here. It runs a little hot, uh, but, uh, well actually not that hot, but if you're in a hot environment it will. Uh, we got max exchanges on this, it was biggest exchanges that we can possibly get. Heat sink cooling pods to keep it as cool as possible. Um, I couldn't do anything with the armor, unfortunately, uh, only because we don't really have a lot of space left. Um, we have a light engine in here. Uh, I don't run an XL with this guy because this guy gets tar targeted all the time, and if I lose a torso, then the mech's gone. So I'm just not running an XL on this guy. But almost completely maxed out armor uh, as well. But this NSI cockpit is pretty awesome, i got to say. If you find one, definitely find a way to get it in one of your better mechs. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm hitting 93 damage with these, and then when you use, uh, your, um, when you use your Warlord ability, um, 
it uh, increases it by 10%. So you're hitting for 102 at that point. So basically, this is like having when I when, when I get my when I hit my warlord, this is basically having like having four auto cannon 20s on this guy that are incredibly accurate. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, and it is an Orion. So it's like se it's only 75 tons too, right? So I mean, if you get a 100 ton mech, then you're able to and you're able to mount more of these things. Just do it, and it just you're just gonna kill at that point, right? Um, but you know, Orion's running really well. So yeah, that's how you get the 93. So we're going to take a mission. Now I noticed here in the command center, and I don't know if anyone else noticed this because I didn't get any comments, but uh, there is a smooth stones mission here to fight a super heavy mech. Now we're not going to do that right away. I'm going to take the hard target mission here first. I just want to see how we're going to do with the new Marauder 2 um, and see how well it performs. It does have like minus 35% damage taken or something. It's going to be pretty good. So it's going to be our frontline guy. Um, even though it's relatively slow. But we're going to take this one first uh, and just see how it goes. We'll probably take this, like this smooth stone, we're probably going to be fighting 10 mechs most likely. Uh, they're all going to be heavy, so it's probably going to be really tricky. Um, but we're going to take hard target first, so let's negotiate this. And we do need sea bills this month. Um, but I think I want to go kind of this route. We're probably going to need a lot for repairs and stuff, so let's go this route. 3 of 13, see what kind of salvage we can get off of here as well. Uh, now, I did run a couple of uh, missions on the side here uh, with my main lance um, using other mechs. So um, let's get the Orion with Savage Steve. Uh, let's get the Mjolnir back here in Rocky again. Uh, the Victor has been, been run by Rhino, and let's give Hellcat the Marauder too. And let's deploy this and get it done. Yeah, I know we're underweight. We might require more firepower. Well, we'll find out. All right. Intel, the targets and escorts will be moving through this area. So there's our target. Um, some kind of king crab. There's our escorts, and that's our escape point. Okay, not bad. And then their reinforcements are coming from over here. Um, since we're in the heavy category, most likely they're going to be relatively slow. Um, I'm supposing too. I mean, the only way you can really improve the damage um, of the PPCs a little further would be to put them on the, all four of them on the Mjolnir with the current layout that we've got on the Orion. Uh, the only problem is, is I don't really have another melee mech um, that's going to be as as effective as as the Mjolnir is. So um, we kind of had to put them on the Orion. At that point, you get an extra five points damage. Yeah, we know Darius. We know they told us that that was what going to happen. They informed us. But yeah, this thing's brutal, man. 93 damage PPCs. Now, I guess I could kind of lay them out in router 2 here. We could go that route eventually. But the Ryan is hitting so well, and it's going to cost so many sea bills to do that. I don't think we'll ever get to that point, but that's okay. Okay. I think, if anything, the Victor right now is like the most un underpowered mech here. I could have brought the Catapult, but I figure we need the extra armor, so... Victor it is. Hearing a lot of vehicles. And we got a lot of vehicles. Four vehicles. Missile Carrier, 60 tons. Missile Carrier... Oh, wow. Isn't that just wonderful? <sighs> max movement. Max movement, max evasion. Okay, this missile carrier... Can probably be reached 47, eh? Wow. 54. We can probably get in here with the Mjolnir. So let's target the farther guy and fire. Okay, a couple hits. Solid. Ready for orders. Okay, we got some range, so let's use it on this guy. Yeah, not a very good chance to hit, but we're going to take it, and firing. Roger. Yeah, 
couldn't get lucky. Commander. Let's give him a target, Rock. Eighteen percent with the snub nose. Twenty one with the snub nose. Yeah, I'd take the shot. Damn it. Warning. Wow. Sensor lock detected. He's definitely squashable now. You didn't even hit. <laughs> well, you tried. He was damaged. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, what do we got over here? Shadowhawk. Okay, not bad. Yes, Commander. Quick step in it. Router 2 actually doesn't have too bad a speed. Wow, look at the heat on this thing, eh? We got two tons left. We definitely need to get an exchanger in here, a few other things, so. Um, let's... That's not multi-target. Let's just shoot on this guy, see if we can finish him up. We might get lucky. Yeah, we got a hit anyway. Spreading the damage everywhere. Hontos. I think this guy's in squashing range. Could be a kaiju back there. I don't know yet. Find out soon enough. Yep, definitely in squashing range. Let's leave this off. Nice. Insult to injury. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Sure. Far away, boys. Far away. Commander? Got it. Start moving away down the hill. Let's target this guy again. And this time... We can leave off these guys and this. And just fire up the mediums, I think. Yeah. Taking the shot. Wow. What's up, boss? Come on, guys. It's just a friggin' missile carrier. Killed the damn thing already. This should do it. Yeah, that Victor, man. I just can't make that thing work. Suggestions? Anybody? Anybody? Alright, firing. Damn, this thing hits hard. I need more of those PPCs. They were easier to find in the early game, now I'm finding them more difficult to find. Cataphract, okay. I don't, I'm not really worried about this now. I thought we were going to be, it's a king crab. I thought we were going to be facing heavier mechs, but... I was worried they were all going to be heavies or heavies and assaults. We're gonna head up the we're gonna head straight down up here and head up this way. Oh barbarian. He's 
Steve's going to give this guy the what for here in a second. That's some pretty good movement. Mm, I think we need to deal with these guys. Minimal damage. Can't have these guys in my rear here. Atlas, okay. We got Atlas parts, guys. We won't be able to get an Atlas. Don't think we have many King Crab parts, though. Um, what do you think, Steve? We give this guy the business? He runs super... This thing runs super cool, too, right? Only 31%, eh? Mm, let's just fire it. Should have maybe gone for the missile carrier that time. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Look at that chance to hit with this thing. Yeah, heat's killing us here. Gotta fix the layout. Hmm. Kind of weird to see the uh, hill here in this map. Probably have a better time hitting this guy than I will the uh, barbarian. So let's fire. Oh, we penned. Didn't have very much armor in the front. Victor should be able to finish that guy up next turn, I think. Yeah. Damage minimal. Yeah, I think we need exchangers for sure. Question is, is this barbarian going to be getting in close to us? Make it harder for him to get close. This guy, 25, really? 31. Hmm. Well, let's fire on him. Alright, one hit, not bad. King Crab's making his way down now. Come on, Barbarian. I know you want to move. Keep moving forward, buddy. Damage I want to show you what a real brawling mech looks like. He didn't move. I'm here. He didn't move. He didn't move. Why would he not move? Let's hammer him. Well, that's a start. Yeah, this thing's woefully underpowered. I think we do remove everything from the Orion and load up the Marauder too. See what kind of extra damage we can get out of it with another 25 tons. Or 30 tons. Orion's what? Orion's 70 tons, right? 75. Yeah, another 25 tons would probably do it. Waiting for orders. Don't have quite enough, eh? Oh. 
Yeah, we had to try. Alright. No joy. Okay, Rhino, I want you to take out this missile carrier for me, please. Barbarian should be gone next turn. A lot of ones. It's instability I'm more worried about. Shadowhawks moved up there. We got this guy in range now. Not that I care, but this guy's going to be targeted. Firing. Is that enough? Still not enough. Christ, you can't even take out a vehicle. I think we're going to get rid of that Victor and bring the Cataphract in, I think. I think that pir Pirate Cataphract has got a got the, um, the spiky quirk, so we may... I don't know, depending on what the... Uh, I can't remember what the um, support points are on it, but we might want to shift stuff and meal near into that guy. Ready for order. Time to tear this guy a new one. Mm, let's not give our backs to those guys. I guess we're hitting from the front. Let's just do it. Copy that. 130. That's it, eh? Well, he's haywired. Going for the instability. Not moving? Again? That could have been worse. Ah. Come on, Rhino, you gotta take out that uh, vehicle this turn sometime. Sixty percent, huh? Twenty-five. All right, let's take out the barbarian. Wow, we only hit with one. What? I'm not sure how we only hit for thirty damage, too. Yeah, I know. Way overheated. Gonna fire these guys. Alright, well, we hit with the AC. That hit something good. Hope this guy drops talons. What's up, boss? On the move. Hit that vehicle for me, please. Please hit the vehicle. Still, <laughs> come on, no, oh my god, we're just like screwing around now, that's what it really is, it's like everyone's got one hand on the friggin' controllers and the other hand in a friggin' bowl of popcorn, <laughs> we're just all eating popcorn <laughs> while we're playing the game. Just, everyone's just like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna eat some popcorn and play the game and Engaging. take these guys out maybe, and we'll just spread around the damage a little more if we can. I love, I love the fact that we just, 
impaired his movement, but he's still got lots of room. 112. You cheeky monkey. Cheeky breaky stuff, man. As Fly Daily would say, it's cheeky breaky. Alright. Shoot. The damn vehicle. Please remove this thing from the map. Look at, look at, look at it, look at it! It's got like nothing here! Come on! Finally! Christ, how many turns was that? Four? My god. Reporting one less vehicle. Your hand out of the popcorn bowl, for Christ's sake. Where's the damage on this guy? Jeez. Spiked leg boots. It's not talons, but we'll take it. Fire fist. Combat shield. Active combat shield. Huh. TSM. Well... Mm, no. Let's just OP this guy for the CT and fire. Oh, for crying out loud! Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. <laughs> oh. I don't even know where I hit him. All over the place. See if we can knock his ass down. 61%. Let's see what we can do here. Well, he's got minus two initiative. And he's going down. Okay. Even more minus initiative. Well, at least now we have a chance to CT him. Well, guess who showed up to the battle, guys? I'm showing minor damage. Oh, I haven't got here yet. Sorry, I thought that was a king crab. The Atlas is just not... I'm gonna go get these guys. Anytime today, buddy. There comes his 1120. Wow. It's gonna, buddy, he's gonna be completely out of ammo by the time he gets here. Shooting down aerospace fighters is what we're doing. Yes, Commander. Um. On my way. Don't mess around. Just friggin' target the CT. Let's get this guy. There we go. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> oh, we lost the. Oh. Crap. Oh well. Man, if they had heavies, we'd be just done for. These guys are all heavies, are all assaults. We'd, we'd have been done for. This Marauder is just not working for me. So we're going to make some changes. Alright, let's use these guys. Ooh, three hits. See, after I say that, right? Oh, it's not working. Yeah, it is. Look, you're hitting stuff. Confirm this. See if we can get some good hits on this guy. 91%. Firing. Oh! <laughs> You're a murderer, Steve. You're a murderer. Putting up some big numbers. Wow, that guy's pretty damn accurate. So I think we're going to leave the Atlas to last. We're going to climb this hill. Well, I don't even know if we're going to get there in time. I should just sick the meal there on the King Crab. 
Shoot this guy. Oh, I see. Wow. Oh, we still got a hit, though. I got a question, though. Well, I guess, you know, he could have got lucky, too. It's going to say, How did he hit us? But. Eh. Meh. It's coming down in the open. Nice. They've got a lock on me. It's fine. They're just gonna drop some lerms on you. Okay, we're going crab hunting. Oh, somebody's got a gus. Better make sure he doesn't hit us. See if we can get rid of this guy. Okay, something's open over there. Close. Striking distance for next turn. Oh! Someone who's doing their job. I'm here. Don't you hate that when you face opponents that are actually doing their job? Copy that, Commander. Just want to see what kind of chance to hit we have with everything here. Uh, let's leave off those guys. Fire the rest. Confirmed. I know it's a really bad chance to hit, but I want to try to maximize and get some damage on the guy. Order. Maybe leaving the Atlas might be a bad idea, but... It's got a lot of leg damage, though. We may have to kill this cataract before we go after the king crab. Nope. Oh, somebody's got a 4 PPC loadout. Nice. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, we need to move. We don't have melee ability yet, eh? Don't even have melee ability on this guy, eh? Really? He's got good movement too, so I can't get too close. I don't want to expose my back to the other guy. Um, understood. Moving fast. Okay. Okay, a couple of head, a couple of leg hits there. At least it looked like there was a couple of leg hits. Yep, yeah, and freaking two torso hits too. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. The 
Let's give that guy a target. And, um... This guy's both legs are really damaged here. Not really damaged, but damaged enough. Uh, do we go for legs, do you think? Hmm... Yeah, man, I think we do that. I think we do this first, though. And then we do the offensive push to the leg with everything and fire. Wow, really? Oh, he's going down, though. That's good. risk using the vigilance yet we might need it um, let's go after this leg and fire nope oh it's almost gone okay good I think our salvage on this is going to be Atlas parts. I think we do have four Atlas parts. Uh, it's either two or four, I can't remember. Yes, Commander. Oh, we don't have the range still, eh? I want to get initiative on this guy, so let's get in here. A snub and haywire him. Our primary target is taking damage. Roger. Okay, let's just go with this so we don't take this torso. Away. Well, we're probably going to take the torso. Not much we can do about it. Oh, okay, well, XL engine, I guess. Target neutralized. Let's see what kind of salvage we can get out of that. Um, guess it's going to be a PPC battle. Warlord's back. Let's hit him. Show him what PPCs really look like. 102, pair of them. Okay, where does he take damage, though? Torso. Okay, we're just going to spread fire this guy. Let's leave the AC off and the ER large, and we'll fire the rest. Mm, I was hoping we would take that leg, but can't always get lucky that way. Alright girl, you got your initiative phase, so let's do... Ah, man. The cataphract is in a bad place. It's coming from here. Well, yeah, let's get in the woods. Stay in there. Okay, took the arm. Somebody's not having a good day. We don't have any line of sight on that guy. Oh, wait, here we go. Just gonna fire straight out. Should take the torso here. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Going down. Waiting for orders. 
Once again, just gonna fire on this guy. Hope for leg hits. Commander. Gotta get to where we can see this guy. Just gonna fire the ATMs. Ah. Well, it could have been zero hits. He's not shooting anymore. What's going on? I wonder if he ran out of ammo. Couldn't be. Our target is out. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. And shame on you for assuming that he would be. Stripping this guy apart. He's not having a good day. Um, got the ability to do this now, so let's take it. Ooh. There it is. Let's finish this guy up and go home. Good luck getting behind me now. Of course, now that I said that. Okay, leg gone. It's panicking. Let's hit him with. Let's go with everything. Why not? Wow. See if we can get a headshot. Uh, let's go with two and fire. Yeah. Well. There it is, folks. Five skull. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased. Nice. We should be able to make our financial report now, um, which is excellent. I think we're gonna try that smooth skull, uh, smooth skull, smooth stones mission. <laughs> it's a smooth skull mission. Um, once we get something else in the Marauder to, to balance some of this heat out, it's crazy. Um, I think Atlas parts are really the only choice here. I know we don't have this version of Atlas. Um, oh, we got five Barbarian parts, though. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. Unless there's like an exchanger down here that we can really use. That we don't have to pay for. Oh, right. We want the leg spike boots too, right? If we're going to take that mission, we're going to need this. Uh, I hate to say it, but let's grab two Atlas parts then. Where are we here? All right, let's confirm. Oh, we got three Atlas parts. Nice. And a Barbarian piece. Nice. Medium laser. There it is. Another one of those beautiful PPCs. Um, AMS. Uh, okay. All right, so let's have a look here. Wolf took Iron Hold from Jade Falcon. What else is new? Uh, 94,000. So not too bad. 29 days for repairs, though. Alright, let's have a look. We want the Mjolnir up first. Um, and then let's get... Do we want to take the Victor with us the next time? I think so. Although, you know, taking a just dedicated missile platform might be a better way to go so we can just bombard that damn thing from long range. But the Victor, I don't know, man. More armor. Uh, I think this is going to be the fastest way to go. So let's, conf let's just close. Let's confirm that. Actually, we got three mech bays going, right? I just want to double check here. Um, we got three. No, we got two going still. Okay, so it's only two. All right, so we'll go that route then. And let's get healed up here. Um, Bankruptcy is predicted, but we're still okay. 
and let's get oh, pause uh, back bay bays Mjolnir where are ya okay let's refit you so we want to put in that before we put in what else do we have that's just base nothing is just base melee damage and it's got bonus damage to it too so talons we can pull out I don't know if we're going to be able to fit those leg uh, things in here. We may have to lose one thing here. We may have to pull the case out. Um, where is it here? Talons, 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 leg uh, claws. There are melee, we're not to play, expect leg boots. Oh, no. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's not bad. We'll take that. Let's confirm this. Doesn't really. We won't really know what our melee damage is going to be until we get out of here. Okay, so it's only a day. Let's confirm it. Get that done. Right. I'll get it this and wait a minute. Did I just see that correctly? Did we have an extra ton? Um, I think we did. ADD, man. Not the best thing in the world. All right, um, we got an extra ton of that back, don't we? Am I just going crazy? I'm not going crazy. We do. Um, what can we do for? We got one slot left too. What can we drop on here? Tag. 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 Where are you? Oh, shoot, we can't because we don't have... Ah, damn it. Meh. We could put it in here, though. This torso, I guess. Let's just do that. That'll help out. Logged Give us something to shoot from long range. Okay, let's get the router back, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with that guy. Okay, mech bays. Going to attempt that smooth stones today. All right, let's have a look. Didn't get any exchangers, so it's really difficult to uh, balance this guy. We got one of those good PPCs, though. Um, where are you down here? So if we take out... Like, we could take out the medium laser spam... That gives us seven. Move this over here and put in the PPC. That's still a hundred. That gives us a hundred tons. Heat seeking is better. It was like seventy something and then one one twenty five or whatever. So it is a little better. It's a bit more far power. The AC twenty is not really working for me though. It's so hard to hit anything with this guy. Let's have a look. What else do we have ballistic wise? Um, we got road we got a clan rotary five. Thirteen tons. Recoil of five though. One evasion pip ignored. Forty percent chance to jam. Ultra ten gives us a fifteen percent chance to jam. It's almost like better to use. What's the jam chance on this? 12. Could put a Gauss rifle in instead. That's going to lower the heat. We also got a silver bullet Gauss, too. Plus one of it's like it's more accurate. This is going to spread the damage everywhere. Um, six projectiles at sixteen damage each. I think I would rather. Well, I don't know. Do we want more pinpoint or more splash at this point? I think probably pinpoint. 
So if we pull out, let's say we do this, and then we drop in this, and two tons of ammo, our heat sinking is like incredibly way better now. Much better. Um, Goss ammo. I know Goss ammo doesn't explode. We're going to leave the case 2 in here because this does explode for 50 damage. So just in case something happens, we're not going to take damage in the torso. Uh, we really shouldn't. But it does minus 50% st stability damage. I don't really care about that. It's, it is way more accurate. Plus we got the ballistic here. Giving it a bit more accuracy. I thought we had two of them, but I think we only, we only got one in here. All right, let's try this. I'm thinking this is probably a better load. I don't. I mean, I don't know why I didn't go with bigger weapons to start, but let's go this route. It's only six days. Let's confirm it. Fifteen thousand. So that's pretty damn cheap. So that almost got us a double payment there. Almost, but I was wise to the shenanigans that time. Um, okay, so let's manage our tasks again. Let's make sure we're getting everything back the most expeditious way possible. So six and three, that will switch. Yep, that's perfect. So that's another 11 days for everything to come back. Financial report in 12. Cool. Um, let's let it slide for now. Morale's decreased by two. What? Really? Ah, oh, damn you. Rhino! No! No! Damn it. Damn it, girl. Why would you do that? Uh, we want to sell a mech, uh, a mech, probably. Probably the easiest way to go. Ah, man. Stuff that weren't, like, we got so much stuff we're probably never going to use anymore because, obviously, because of the uh, series coming to a close very shortly. Um, like, we're not going to use the Lerm 5 or the 10. Probably any of those things, but let's leave them there for now. Uh, what else do we got? Medium lasers. We can sell, like, a bunch of these because we got bonus medium lasers. Um... Medium pulses. Let's sell three of these. Okay, good. We got enough for our financial report. Let's just sell uh, the internal combustion engine that we picked up. Where are you here? There you are. Let's get rid of that. All right, so we've got enough for the financial report. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get Rhino back. Yeah. So I also picked up a Jager Mac too, by the way, in between episodes. Or not a Jager Mac, a, um, a catapult again. Got lucky and got some parts. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay, next episode we'll get that cataphract up and running. We really, ah, man. I, okay, I wish the smooth stones wasn't here. Because then it wouldn't have tempted me. I would have gone for cash. We could have uh, fixed up a bunch of stuff. But this is here. Can't not take it now. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we don't get uh, killed here. Keep on just keep our sticks on the ice and don't get beat. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we go, let's just check our mech warriors because uh, every little bit counts here. All right, Hellcat, we got anything? We can. We can get ah more piloting, more evasion. You're in the Marauder, so. Minus 10% heat generation. Evasion uh, or... I think we can manage our heat better. Let's go with the evasion. Minus 10% stability damage is also good too. So let's confirm that. Okay. Uh, Rhino. Uh, yeah, man. Gunnery. Let's just go with up the gunnery tree. Let's confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, uh, Rocky. Yes, Commander. Now, what is this giving us here? Cult shot mastery. You're punching people. I don't think you need that. 
Unsteady threshold, milli accuracy, recall. Uh, let's go this route. Go piloting. Bonus to hit melee wise. Sure. Um, and Steve. We don't quite have enough for this. Max evasion's maxed out. Minus 10% heat generation. We don't really need it. Um, minimum range. We don't really need. Reduced hesitation. Plus 4 initiative. Or do we save it and wait for gunnery 10? Let's take the initiative. Sure. Training complete. Heading towards call shot mastery. Okay, that might help out here a little bit. Let's find out though. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. I don't want to die horribly here, but we might. Smooth stones. If it looks bad, we're going to bail, but let's try it out. Let's get this super heavy mech killed. Let's deploy. Yeah, I know. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. We're in a valley. Oh, uh, crap. This map. Uh, okay. Oh, please stop. Whoa, okay. What the hell? Heat bank what? Wait a minute, why how can they all see us? It's like they've got no like our ECMs aren't working or something. What the fuck? How can they not? How do they see us? Um, how do they see us? Uh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> what the hell? I guess I should have known that was coming. I guess I should have known that was coming. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like that's... I don't even... What? What? That's cheating. That is some big cheating shiz right there if I've ever seen it. Holy... Wow, man, I feel like I just got punched in the groin. Look, uh, look that was like <laughs> not even a full turn. We like took 200,000 points of damage. We don't have enough money. We got to say no for now. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Let's sell some stuff. My God. What the heck? What did we just see? All right, let's drop some stuff here. We don't need all these mechs right now. We're heading home. Let's drop the Centurion. Uh, let's sell this guy. Let's repair our mechs. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. I have no idea what to say. All right, let's repair it all. Uh, oh, right, they don't, uh, they don't keep track of what your original armor was. So this was all maxed. Um, this, wow, this leg got hit too. Um, I think that's it on, oh, CT, no, we're full, okay. Let's confirm this. So it wasn't too bad on this guy. The Ryan... 
Now, wait a minute. If we repair, does that repair all the armor at the same time? Or does that... I don't even know. This arm's got, like... Wow. We could have lost this lot of stuff there if we weren't... Like, if I decided to stay in that match... I may have been able to move like one of my guys and then they would have just taken advantage of like another one and just smashed them. Like I don't even, I can understand, I could understand they can see us on sensors but to not even be able to like move before the damn thing starts, this is a huge loss. Um, they took the whole torso. The whole torso. 210 points of damage plus internals. Really? Um, Alright, well... It's probably going to end up being a double heatsink. Um, I wonder if double heatsink kit would be better. No, I'm thinking the minus 18% that we're getting from weapon damage is going to outweigh 20. Well, it might not. No, it will. It'll outweigh 20 points. So 30, 70, 90. Yeah, it'll, yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be better to go with the 18% decrease. Okay. Um, now what? Well, it's a good thing we had Feral Lamellar and, and like enhanced imaging with minus 15% damage. Like, <laughs> can you imagine if we didn't have that? They would have destroyed the torso. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think, there's no cooling stuff down here, is there? No, it's all at the top. All right, so we can't put a double heat sink in. It's got to be a proto double heat sink. So maybe we do have to go to a uh, double heat sink kit. Let's just take a look here really quick. What are we at here? 6687. All right, so with a double heat sink kit, we got to remove the proto double heat sinks. Double heat sinks. Um, need one more double heat sink. How good are we doing here? Actually, it's not too bad. It's better with the double heat sinks, I think. Yeah, because I keep forgetting the e-cooling system will give us two more. Um, is there a way we can... Yes, we can move the Guardian over here. And we can put the double heat sink in here. So that should be 100. Yeah. Um, looks like we're good here. 21 days, though. It's got to be done. Yeah, we don't want to double pay for that. Okay, so, yeah. I guess I'll end the episode here. That was uh, mildly disappointing, to say the least. Um, I think there might be a system we can get to just in under 21 days. I'll have a look. We'll jump systems. We want to go to a planet where we can get some... Uh, milk runs going so that we can we don't have to actually um, sell mechs in the mech bay to get stuff uh, I want to try and get that cataphract up and running um, th we've also got um, another catapult too um, which I might just sell I don't know if we need to outfit another catapult I know we were talking about maybe doing a lance of all catapults it's still on the table um, I think it would be kind of a cool idea so maybe we will get this up and running and have uh, a four catapult lance and just see what happens um, but until uh, 
we get some more funds. We can't really do any of that yet. So, yeah, let's end the episode there. If you guys like to drop a like, um, if you got any solutions for attempting to do a smooth stone mission where we don't almost die right at the very beginning, other than having four 100 ton mechs with like damage reduction on them, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.